Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all safe and healthy. So in today's video, uh, I won't be doing my usual car reviews, but uh, as you might already know from the title of this video, uh, I'll be taking on, taking you on a showroom tour of 7 car launch and also this will be my first vlog on the channel as well. So 7 car launch here in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, they, are, they have a pretty exclusive collection of uh, hypercars, supercars and also a lot of super SUVs so I'll be taking you through a tour of uh, whatever they have in the showroom right now and I'll be going through some of the details about the specific cars as well so these guys, 7 car launch back in 2019 there was a pretty big car show here in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia and they had a space of them for themselves these guys, 7 car launch and in that space there were a lot of exotic manufacturers like Pagani, Aston Martin etc and they displayed all their cars and I did go to attend that event and uh, I was just basically a kid in a candy store at that time you could just see the hearts in my eyes there were many people like uh, Shimi 150 Salomon Rin etc also so uh, these guys are pretty well known and they have one of the best collections I believe here in Riyadh Saudi Arabia so before we head to the showroom I just wanted to say if you are uh, new to the channel and are watching my videos for the first time uh, do hit that like button and also do subscribe to the channel as well and turn on the notifications so that you will be the first ones to know when I upload later videos so now uh, let's go right ahead and take a look at their showroom. Okay guys, so I am here at the 7 car launch. So here it is. As you can see, it's written 7 car launch. And let's enter inside and I'll show you all the cars that are available in the showroom. So there we go. And you are greeted by obviously the Bugatti Veyron and Chiron Passport over here. And first let's take a look at all the cars around. And uh, one thing uh, I do like about the 7 car lounge is the layout of the showroom is pretty nice. Uh, you have a massive expanse over here of glass which allows everybody passing by to come and take a look at the cars. So let's start from the left side. So the first car we have here is the 1993 Porsche 911 Turbo S. This is the 964 generation uh, and all the specifications about this particular car I will put it down below uh, at the bottom so that you can read them clearly because uh, at the time I didn't have an of knowledge about the older cars now this being an old car it had some dings and scratches but uh, that's to be expected uh, due to the age of this car and this yellow color in which this car was it was, it was really good and uh, the cars and the car did stand out a lot and uh, i'll show you the interior you can see it has a leather interior with the uh, black and yellow uh, two-tone uh, due to the exclusivity of the car we cannot uh, open or uh, open the doors or also touch the car so we were not allowed to do that but it's understandable due to the value of the car and you can see the steering wheel over here it has uh, a yellow uh, middle or center part with the turbos badging at the rear which uh, you saw without the rear seats then at the back you have the famous rear wing with the turbo as badging and one of the famous signatures of Porsche the light bar at the back which they have uh, actually brought back in the new 992 generation so now as we turn around we can see the F1 car that stuck to the wall over here uh, but one thing about this F1 car is obviously it's a replica it's not the real deal uh, and also I didn't know the exact model of this uh, replica I tried to find it on the internet a lot but I couldn't find it so one way we know that uh, this is a replica is uh, by the vent near the Puma logo that's fake also the steering wheel this is a thrustmaster steering wheel often used in simulation or simulator games uh, by gamers and uh, also one more thing at the back is that it did not have an uh, exhaust pipe so all these little uh, facts were there around the car which uh, told you that this is not an actual uh, f1 car uh, i was uh, also confused at first but then when i saw those little details <laughs> i got to know that okay this is an uh, uh, a replica not a real car then we come to this uh, Aston Martin DB5 now this is not uh, a classic Aston Martin uh, like uh, which has been restored this is a totally brand new one and uh, I'll tell you why so this Aston Martin is a totally brand new car that's a part of the continuation series from Aston Martin so over here you can see it's a brand new 2020 model it is powered by an inline 6 engine with 325 horsepower and it is attached to a 5 speed transmission so you can see also it is uh, 18 million 500 thousand reals that's around 5 million dollars and also is just one of 25 so basically they made this car to commemorate the james bond movies there have been 25 movies so far so that's why there are 25 cars and this car is exactly built to the car uh, that was in the movie goldfinger 
it has all the gadgets that can be uh, used by a remote you cannot control it from inside the car you have to use that remote and over here you can see it has a roof outline uh, where the ejector seat would come out from in the movie and at the back you have the bullet shield which comes up to obviously stop the bullets from getting into the cabin and there are a lot of other gadgets as well so now we'll take a look at this uh, Bravus G800 Adventure so first you can see this badge over here which says Bi Turbo 800 meaning it has 800 horsepower and it has the body kit from Bravus which means carbon fiber everywhere you have the exhaust system from Brabus. You can see the wheels uh, which are uh, off-road oriented and look uh, and are pretty big as well. Then you can see the suspension system which lifts the car up even higher than what it normally is. Then uh, normally the G-Wagon is an SUV but here they have uh, cut out that uh, back part and they have installed a truck bed uh, and you can see the Brabus logo inside and these are the anti-roll bars. We also have a roof rack system up top and now we'll take a look at the front. So the front is the standard uh, G wagon with some additional body parts on the hood. You have a light LED lights up top uh, and also you have a winch at the front. Now I'll uh, show you the price as well. So I'll convert it into dollars for you down below also so that you have an idea of the comparison. And also this SUV is so big and I'm not a small guy by the way. I'm just six foot five and despite uh, that I felt really small. Uh, now we come to one of my favorite cars in the showroom and that's the Chiron Persport. So we'll be taking a look at that now. So here it is one of my most favorite brand new cars on the market right now uh, even though I can't buy it it's still one of my favorites so the biggest change when compared to the standard chiron is the larger front bumper which pro provides more air and also provides more downforce at the front end then you have these outlets right above the front wheels which allow to remove the hot air pressure from inside the wheels and uh, allow again for better downforce other than that there's nothing else in the front or any other new change in the front then here are some specs of the Chiron Passport. You can see the W16 quad turbo engine produces 1,479 horsepower. And also you can see the price 16,500,000 reals. And believe it or not, it's actually less expensive than that DB5. Then here on the roof, you have these two glass areas which allow the interior to be or feel light uh, due to the extra uh, light coming inside uh, obviously i couldn't show the interior by opening the door so here's the best i could show you can see you have blue leather on the sides of the seat with the chiron purse put written in the middle and also the center part of the seat is black with the blue diamond stitching other than that there are no changes on the side also it's a bit lower in terms of uh, the ride height i believe also one interesting fact about the per spot is that until 300 kilometers per hour it is uh, one of the fastest accelerating bugatti ever it's even faster than the super sport so that's something cool and that's why i like the per sport a lot more it might not be as fast as the super sport in terms of top speed but uh, just that acceleration alone is enough to make me excited then uh, let's uh, come to the back now so the back here you can see that beast of an engine which is uh, totally open there's no glass roof and you can see the w16 logo and the 1500 logo which indicates the horsepower and then you have this uh, rear wing i really like the design of this rear wing it's pretty unique and it also resembles the star wars uh, x wing fighter a bit uh, especially if you see it from this angle then you have the chiron light bar then you can see these are the heat extractors which remove hot air from the exhaust system and you can see all the carbon fiber and the blacked out ethor bugatti logo this is the exhaust system of the car uh, i do like the design but personally my favorite is the super sports exhaust design due to it being the vertically stacked and that looks better in my opinion so this is all on the chiron per sport now let's move on to the veyron super sport so here it is the veyron super sport world record edition so the veyron super sport when it was launched it set a top speed record of 431 kilometers per hour at that time it became the fastest car in the world so this particular car you can see it has the matte, matte carbon fiber with the orange paint down at the bottom and uh, i think it had 1200 horsepower and 1500 newton meters of torque you can see the interior 
it's in uh, tan not orange so it and it looks good also here are the naka air ducts which uh, help to cool the engine down and you can see the super sport one of one badge here then we have uh, the rear wheels which are really wide at 365 section tires and you can see the rims which are orange in color then we come to the engine bay and this engine is uh, obviously again open due to the intense amount of heat it produces so it needs to cool down and also any other figures i believe yeah 0 to 100 it went in 2.5 seconds and this particular car here is not for sale it's just here for display purpose and now let's move on to the lamborghini Penino roadster only nine were ever built in the world and this is the only one here in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The specification of this particular car is very unique. Not something I would go for, but it's uh, unique in itself. So you can see you, uh, we have the matte black paint job with the green accents. So the paint uh, brake calipers are green. The interior is green. And you can see those switches in the Italian flag colors. Uh, we can see that clearly. Then other than that, uh, it's the same as in uh, Lamborghini Aventador. There were not a lot of changes. Uh, only the power was increased, I believe. Uh, this was uh, 750 horsepower. And uh, the main unique thing about the Veneno was its uh, body. It uh, looked like a spaceship. And at the time it released, you can just see the front uh, splitter is so huge. Uh, you can easily break ankles <laughs> if you hit someone. And also this particular car is not on sale. Is just for display and you can see the product of Santa Agata Bologna is written in Italian sorry for my bad Italian and then this is the adjustable wing you have uh, three modes in which you can adjust it other than that you can see here the LP 750-4 badge so 750 obviously stand for stands for the horsepower while four is for the four wheel drive and lp stands for longitudinal position and here the wheel you can see the outer part is in carbon fiber just to lighten the weight the rear is also as crazy as the front you can see that huge diffuser and the centrally mounted exhaust it does look really good just like a spaceship now since everyone knows about the veneno we'll move on to the other part of the showroom okay so let's move to the other side of the showroom or basically just go up to the other side of the showroom but uh, before that you can see they have the lego porsche gt3 rs on display they also have the chiron on display you also have uh, a ferrari enzo on display they are for sale by the way these two these are not because you can see the price of over here and they have some other cars also that looks like a shell petrol truck and this looks like a ferrari transport truck so pretty cool but now let's move up so the first car we see moving up is the Senna or the McLaren Senna and you can see the specification it's uh, pretty high of this car you can see it has uh, blue carbon fiber with the light blue accents uh, the basic the spec is basically an uh, inversion of the spec that uh, Shimi 150 has so it's the opposite spec and uh, it looks pretty cool and this is a brand new car by the way a 2019 model with the 789 horsepower and this is the price of the car 5.8 million rials uh, I'll put the conversion to dollars down below for you guys and you can see the interior specification you have uh, blue uh, MSO interior uh, because this is a highly specified version uh, that's why they have the MSO badging you can see the blue bucket seats uh, with the steering wheel over here so pretty nice specification looks pretty unique as well i hope you can see it clearly then let's move to the back you have the engine here that four liter twin turbo v8 that's mclaren is famous for and you have this huge rear wing right here so obviously this is adjustable according to the speed you're doing it uh, adjusts that automatically and it acts as an air brake as well then at the back itself mostly when the senna came out not a lot of people liked it because of the design but uh, what uh, mclaren did is they went uh, function over form with this thing so uh, everything you see in this car is designed to give it the maximum downforce on a track and because of that it did perform really nicely on track it broke a lot of records i believe also so you can see how open most of the things are over here just to give that uh, air downforce and also i like how the light blue accent is over here at the bottom of the wing the exhaust system of this car on the euro spec cars you get a third exhaust in the middle over here but uh, i think this is an american spec that's why you don't have uh, third exhaust with the third exhaust the car was a bit uh, less loud compared to the american versions that have only these two exhaust pipes over here then you can see the mclaren logo with the camera and 
you can see that diffuser down over there then let's move to the side and we have this uh, Diablo over here so this one is specifically a Lamborghini Diablo VT and it's a 2001, uh, 2001 model which has done around 16.5 or 16,500 kilometers you can see it has a V12 engine 510 horsepower and this is the price of the car i'll put i'll convert into dollars for you guys as well personally this diablo is uh, not one of my favorites my personal favorite is the diablo sv uh, but this one also does look good and the way the condition this car is in it does look really nice you can just see the paint how nice it looks i hope you can see that clearly then let's move to the side of the diablo you have these cool wheels silver and you can see that you have uh, red brake calipers i think these are not carbon ceramics by the way but it does look good then you have the classic scissor doors from lamborghini and i hope you can see the interior uh, it's a black interior and uh, you can see it has a manual gearbox six speed and it does look pretty good in the interior itself then let's move back now the engine bay is covered unfortunately uh, they didn't have they usually didn't put the glass engine bays a lot uh, but it has a six liter v12 by the way and you have your rear wing over here it does look adjustable so you can have more downforce then at the back you can see how open this diffuser is just to allow air uh, to allow the car to sit on the ground perfectly and you can see the tail lights and you have the exhaust in the middle over here so let's go and move over here so this is one of the most exclusive cars they have here in the showroom and it's the mclaren elva so let's take a look at this car it's also my first time taking a look at this particular car so i'm pretty excited all my favorite cars are in the showroom so it look i'm a kid in a candy store right now so uh, or forgive my <laughs> excitedness over here so the mclaren elva is an evolution of the senna itself so they have uh, derived uh, a lot of stuff from that and what they did uh, first thing is the obvious change they have removed the roof um, but uh, to counteract that they have a system over here uh, so this thing just pops up and it blows the air directly over the driver's head and it creates a sort of bubble over here so that the uh, driver and the passenger is not disturbed by the elements and they'll be in a safe cocoon and uh, they can easily have conversations with that and this particular car you can see uh, the paint it does look really nice uh, you have the led lights here and this is also i think it's a light as well it's a drl and let's see the front so full carbon fiber bumper with your air intake and the front end of this car they have designed it to be as smooth as possible and it looks really nice you have a darker gray over here again metallic i hope you can see the shine or flake over here then let's come to the side of the car so i do like this part also the way they have sculpted the car it looks really well or nice and the wheel design is also one of my favorites so you can just take a look so you can see the carbon ceramic brakes and let me just check how big these wheels are i think these are 20 inch wheels i'm not sure i'll put it down in the description by the way for you guys so this is how i like this wheel design a lot more i hope uh, mclaren bring this design to the other cars as well they will look pretty good with this then you have the side mirrors which again look pretty nice and we come to the interior now the doors do open the mclaren way or the butterfly style and this is how the seats look you have the lr written over here these are basically bucket seats and you have the carbon fiber steering wheel with the instrument cluster right over here and one fun fact uh, when you adjust the steering wheel it uh, just uh, it doesn't just adjust the steering wheel itself the whole instrument cluster moves it uh, moves with it so it moves front and up and down for you uh, so it is uh, basically adjusted uh, nicely so you get a, a proper view uh, to the instrument cluster uh, that is the screen for your infotainment and that is the helmet you get with the elva as well and another fun fact this part over here the flying buttresses i think that's what they call it uh, when you this is actually a storage place for those uh, uh, mentioned uh, helmets so you can store one on each side over here and you need it when you're driving uh, this car you cannot just uh, drive it wearing your standard uh, cap and sunglasses because the wind will just blow it off then you have that 4 liter mclaren v8 over here i think it produces around 800 horsepower i'm not sure though i'll uh, put the specifications down below for you guys and for some reason i see four exhaust i think it has four exhaust so you can see two over here and two over here and i think this wing also moves up and down uh, it has active aero and you can see the rear of the car it does look really nice and smooth you have the led lights here you have a pretty open diffuser at the back and this is how it looks 
so pretty cool i'm so excited i think i forget what to say most of the time right now then over here on the side or like right behind me uh, we have a defender i think this is the which one it is uh, let me just check yeah this is the defender 90 adventure so it's a 2016 model which has done around 18000 kilometers we have an inline 4 engine with 122 horsepower the defenders do not have a lot of uh, power especially these older ones the new ones do have uh, better power and the price is 430,000 riyals because it is a collector's car now and you can see the paint job it looks pretty good then you have the standard g63 over here and we come to this side and they have a maybach also and this one i've already done a video on the maybach if you want to see that video i'll link it up uh, in the description uh, and i'll also link my playlist in the corner as well so you can take a look at all the videos i have made so far then here we have the x6 competition this is another car i forgot to show you that was the ram trx then over here we have uh, the maybach 57s and it's a 2012 model you have a v12 543 horsepower and this is the price again us dollars will be put over here the conversion the interior even now it looks pretty luxurious despite being a 2012 car it just looks pretty comfortable i hope you can see that clearly and let's take a look at the back seat or a back side so standard maybach i hope you can you saw that clearly now let's move here in the front where we have two ferraris so let's take a look at the cars so the first we have an f12 berlinetta and let me just show you the specifications it's a 2014 model uh, you have a v12 730 horsepower 885,000 riyals. this is the price of this car and i do like the spec of it it's in uh, gray and uh, to be honest when the f12 came out the design wasn't my favorite uh, and it still isn't uh, i'm not a big fan of the design of the f12 by the way but uh, overall any ferrari is special so it does look good especially the side profile of this car not the front and even the rear of this car is pretty nice so here are the wheels you have your uh, yellow brake calipers carbon ceramic you have the ferrari shield here and you have the red interior which looks pretty nice and my favorite angle of the f12 is the rear so you have an f1 style rear uh, light or reverse light you have the circular uh, tail lights that is uh, a ferrari signature and you have a quad exhaust and you have that diffuser over there but we come to another car which is my even better looking than this uh, the f12 and that's the a12 super fast so you can see it's in the rosso corsa i believe and i'm that kind of guy who thinks that a ferrari should be red because they look best in the red color and you can see you have an italian badge or it uh, italian flag badge over here then you have the ferrari logo and you have your four circular tail right and again the quad exhaust and i hope you can see the diffuser how open it is from here you can basically see to the ground to allow better downforce and that's all and let's take a look at the side so these wheels are pretty unique most of the ferraris that i see are in they have the wheels in silver or black but this one has this in i think it's brushed gold and you have your uh, yellow brake calipers again carbon ceramics as standard and they look pretty good i hope you can see that clearly then the interior spec is also pretty unique so you have a tan interior with some red accents in the middle it's the standard a tool interior you have carbon fiber rear view mirrors and let's take a look at the front so the front design is much more uh, my style than the f12 and i like how open it is over here so for to allow better airflow to the engine you have good looking headlights and you have more air intakes over here and overall the front portion does look pretty good you can just see how good it looks and i hope you can see the price of this car let me just show it to you i can so that's the price of this car so 812 super fast it's a brand new car 2019 model by the way v12 800 horsepower so overall one more cool feature they have in this uh, showroom is over here so you can see this ferrari engine stand over here i'm not sure what this is meant to be i think it's just meant as uh, to be given as a showpiece but it does look good they have classic ferrari uh, engine cover in red and that's how it is and it looks pretty nice and other than that that's all there is i can show in this showroom okay guys so that was the showroom tour of seven car launch hope you enjoyed it a lot i certainly did and uh, if you would like me to make uh, more vlogs like these where i take you on showroom tours uh, do remember the fact that there are a lot of third party uh, dealerships here in riyadh saudi arabia as well as pretty cool official dealerships as well so if you would like me to make showroom 
examples of those uh, uh, dealerships as well uh, do let me know in the comments down below and do leave a like as well while you're down there and also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so that uh, you will be the first ones to know when i upload latest videos so thanks for watching guys stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye bye